What's up guys, it's Yank here with 47 North Gaming back with another episode of Space Engineers hanging out with Drew again, so I'm going to drop you guys straight back into the action. Ugh. Well, you have fun with that. Yeah. Thankfully it's not too far of a walk to the uh, component storage. That would be a plus. Do 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 Shink 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 shink. Actually sounds like a Gatling turret. Big but What? This is awesome oh. to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked over and I saw a uh Control chair just flying off into the distance. Oh, <laughs> I I may have something to do with that. <laughs> uh. Depends on who's asking. <laughs> oh, okay. Framework, anyways, for the uh, engine nacelles. Uh, okay. Whoa. Bit of lag. Um. Yeah, a bit of lag. It launched me straight into your miner. Oh. Are you? You? you I take it you're dead. Yes, I am. Yeah, no, it like stopped for a second and then it continued. So I gotta do, uh, rebuild my uh, tools real quick here. Another thing I want to do, add some productivity modules to the assembler. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. 
that's done. Plate. I think I'm going to build the back end out, actually, just because more room at the moment. That's fine. <laughs> I kind of figured that's actually the direction we were pointing anyway. Originally, when I was first thinking about building, it was going to be inside with the nose pointing out, but... Not this time. Makes more sense this way, honestly. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, sorry. Herp a derp. We are approaching a big milestone here. That, wait, what? We are? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oops. Well, I guess <laughs> that part's pissing off that way. Okay. Awesome. I got it. <laughs> Oop. Last bit, grinding it up. I can actually keep up with things that are flying away now when it comes to grinding them. There. Woo! Other than the odds and ends floating around. Yeah, well, other, th other than that... Ratchet is gone! Ah! There is no more. It's not a thing anymore. Ratchet? What Ratchet? Exactly. I don't know this red ship that you speak of. Which means now this ship is 100% welding duty. Ooh. Two. Two. 
Do-do-do-do. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> something along those lines. Alright. Um, this guys. I am. Um, okay. Mm, excuse me. Wait. That one. Holy cow, we got steel blade. Yeah, we do. Building site. <laughs> More steel plate. Alrighty. Yeah, I just took a huge load. <laughs> so I noticed. <laughs> and by a huge load, I mean pretty much all of it. I'm over here trying to build shit by hand. 
Yeah, I'm doing it mechanically. Is that so? Yep. It is indeed. Space and some steel plate? Maybe. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I've got tons of it, as you probably saw. Yeah. How much did you take? Did I, am I out already? Yep, I'm out. <laughs> so apparently I grabbed the last of what you had. Yeah, considering I was dumping quite a bit onto the floor, basically. Or mm. I guess that's the ceiling. Does make a difference. Mm -hmm. gravity drive inside. It'd be a lot easier to access the gravity drive as well when repairs are needed. <laughs> yeah. That was one thing that wasn't that great about the first nacelle design. Everything was packed in there. He came back and looked at me and was like, wait, what? I mean, it's not wrong. <laughs> I said the wife is pulling the wife card. So what you're saying is I should park up the ship. Yeah. Alright, well, I mean, we got some progress today considering red ship is no more other than some scrap pieces floating around our rock. Yeah. 
so that's progress that we won't have to worry about any longer. Yeah. And Bertha is now more than just a long cube tube. Yep. Let's see. Turn that off. And... Let's see. That is parked over there. Your welder is in sad shape. <laughs> yeah, I gotta rebuild that. Actually, I'm thinking about tearing it down and rebuilding it into a an array welder. Or well, no, because we got yours. And it is nice to have a uh, spot check, like a spot checker slash, you know, nim basically a nimble version. Yeah. Kind of like how oh. my uh, miner is a nimble version of yours. Yeah. Just trying to make sure everything's locked down nice and tight. I think so. I can shut mine off. Shut down there. random pieces everywhere. Yep. Because they kind of just ping off, especially if they're lightweight. Yeah. Alright, so I think uh, we're probably good. Well, it seems weird going over here and standing and then looking back at what used to be always the red ship. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing there now. I dumped my bottles. Yeah, I lost that round of bottles again because of the lag. Not sure what's up with that. Yeah, he had a hiccup. <laughs> okay. Well, that's going to do it for us for uh, this episode. Tune in next time while we uh, <laughs> work towards trying to complete that. <laughs> Starting to look like more than just a cube. Yeah. We're going to need probably more uh, assembler. More assembler capability. It, yeah, more assembler capability because we are blowing through the, the the sheets like none other. Yeah. Next round I'll get a couple uh, productivity modules installed. Sounds like a plan. I'm going to real quick check our uh, ca uh, cannon array. Uh, it, it's still loaded. Cool. It's got six in each. Or oh. two of them have five and two of them have six. Looks like it took a couple hits. What? There's two blocks missing on the back edge. Oh, that's from when it was out at base. Ah. I never replaced them. Gotcha. Yeah, no, that's, that's left over from when it was uh, a remote platform. Gotcha. And being that they're cosmetic, I figured I wasn't bo gonna bother with fixing them. Yeah, and I ain't then. Especially considering I didn't have the material to do it. <laughs> <laughs> out, out on, you know, out on site. Yeah. I mean, I could fix them now, but really, it's again, it's just cosmetic. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I guess that's gonna do it for us. Uh, catch you in the next one, guys. Peace. Bye.